well, 2019 is coming to a close. Another great year here on Super Mega. Yeah. In fact, I think there are specific clips that we want to share with the audience to remind them that this year was productive and not a waste of their Patreon money. Damn, y'all. You know, we also have a podcast we do every week, and there's some pretty funny clips and wild, wacky moments on that. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the best moments from Super Mega Cast in the year 2019. <laughs> Thank God um, we have Justin, our editor. Yeah, though. he's a big he, help. Round of applause round for, of Justin applause for Justin. 2018. What a wonderful boy. Everybody go follow him. He's at nothing but lag on the good old Twitter. He's actually Twitter. in the description. You can go click that link. Yeah, it's, it's, all, it's, right very, it's also very unfortunate. He did um, pass away in an ATV accident over the Christmas break. Um, yeah. But we, we, we have him on ice. We he called. went to go pick up his, like, cooler scooter thing like yeah. motorized cooler and he was so excited to get back that he wasn't really looking left to right at every turn nope um, very unfortunate but we do have the body on ice <coughs> uh parents luckily didn't care that much about it so they we had it shipped out to la so we're gonna see if we can there's witch doctors and shit out in yeah. california you can find any type of shit like okay. that so actually there's a fucking wizard i met the other day you met a wizard could, yeah and we just need to take him to yosemite and he says that possibly there's something he could do for justin just drop him in the volcano yeah. <laughs> so no let's plays until we can get justin all fixed we drop him in and <laughs> we drop him in like like we're just two fucking psychotic like Picture reality, just two people that think that they have to, like, take their friend to a wizard on top of a volcano or something, and they just throw in their dead friend thing. We, we dump them into, like, Yellowstone, and, like, it triggers Yellowstone's eruption, <laughs> which is, like, would be, like, like an extinction event, essentially. But, like, Justin comes back to life. No, Justin starts glowing, and he starts going up, and we realize he's the second coming of Jesus Christ. <laughs> we triggered the and second And that's why coming. all of our videos have been edited so well. Exactly, because <laughs> Christ himself has been working on Super Mega. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was doing my obnoxious laugh. I love that. Is that real? <coughs> I'm doing, like, well, it's part of me, like, coughing and laughing. So I, it's I like, liked it. <laughs> like that I like that it's you like it's like saying? a it's like a guy in a movie theater something funny's happening he's been smoking his whole life like <laughs> yep it's like when I went to go see Anchorman 2 and the part where like the uh, RV is flipping in slow motion I remember the guy sitting in front of me was like screaming his fucking head <laughs> off and he was screaming out like this is hysterical oh that's good this is like, good shit like, like screaming that out loud and I was like alright man we get it and every time something funny happened he would commentate like this is funny this is good I actually, I went to go see the, uh, okay, I'm not proud of this, and I have no idea why, but I was about to say I saw the Ballad of Buster, Buster Scruggs. That's what I was supposed to say, but what I was really about to say, and I have no earthy idea why, is I was about to say, so legitimately, I was telling you a story. I was about to say, so I saw the gay Ballad of Buster Scruggs. Like, I don't know why my mind decided to add gay in, in the in the title. Maybe it felt like it flowed better. I don't know. But that was the working title and they scrapped it. <laughs> yeah. I saw that in theaters and there's this there's this guy who was sitting a row in front of me and then to the left, probably like five seats, six seats. I'm not I'm not doing this up. Every time something quote unquote funny would happen, he'd be like And like he would like it was a loud laugh and like it was to the point where like people around the theater were doing this they were like looking at him and it got to the point where two like a couple got up and left didn't come back another couple got up and left and then came back a theater person came in and like just st stood there and the guy something funny happened again <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. and it's like we're like we're like I'm like what the fuck is he doing this on purpose is he ruining the movie for like everyone else on purpose so the theater guy comes up to him and he's like hey dude you gotta stop and like and the thing is I, I do feel bad for him because imagine he's, he's being probably just enjoying himself imagine how he looked he was red with joy he was red with joy. glowing with joy. He was. He was like he like, was so him, happy. Like I wish I wish, everybody else ruined his fun because he was having too much of it. That's the thing. It's like I wish I could find that much joy in something like just going to see a movie like the Gay Ballad of Mr. Scrum. I know. I, I was I was looking at him. I was like, man, I wish I was enjoying this movie just as much as you. Like God. Like uh, if I could find <laughs> that kind of joy in anything besides sitting here with my friend Ryan, like that would be, like life would be so good. And oh, then pe yeah. people got to come and rain on his parade. Did we ever tell a story of the time that I 
Did we ever tell that story, or is that a private what story? story? I don't know what story you're talking about. Where I tried to there was a where I tried to send you a funny snap of explosive shit into the lobby toilet. <laughs> have we ever have we ever told that story? Mm, mm. I don't think we have. I don't think we have. So, I didn't know I mean, if you wanted to, but I think that this is. I think it's, it's enough it's time, time has passed. It's I, honestly, Ryan. I think that that day was the hardest I've ever laughed in my life, and I'm excited to finally tell this story. <laughs> so okay, for all of you. To know, you know, there was a uh, there was a period where the comedy amongst us was like shitting and pissing in the toilets obscenely. Like it would be like regular snaps, and then randomly just like we, like, we would we would shocking, we would but... send each other videos of like <laughs> uh, like explosive diarrhea. Yeah, like like we would like really hold it in and then just send a video. I'd send a video to Ryan like a fucking of it just kind of like exploding, it's like a out. glitter bomb of yeah. shit. Cause he'd open a snapchat I'm like what did Matt send me and then it, it you know and then we'd send it back and forth or it's just like a log just you know we were we were younger <laughs> we don't do that anymore no I think it reached a point where we're like eh, we don't do you not do that anymore with any of your no. other friends no I don't no okay <laughs> yeah no 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 um, okay <laughs> but I remember we were we were walking around uh like kind of like a mall area and I don't remember who was with us it was you me and like another friend I thought it was just you and I or this, well, a- after we split up from them. Because w- I thought we were meeting up with someone. I think there was one more person there. It was I only you we- and I. I was waiting in the lobby with someone. Just yourself. Okay, well, we were walking around, and and you looked at me with this look I've never seen, and you were like, Matt, I have to take a shit right now. And then, like, I followed you. You kind of, like, ran back to the apartment. Like, you were, like, like booking. So you tell your side of the story first. Okay, okay. And then, and then, and then... You know, you get you're gonna end it on the cliffhanger that it's like, and then you pick up. Then it's gonna be like twenty minutes earlier. Okay. <laughs> then I'll like tell twenty four style. <laughs> yeah. Boop. So from Matt's Boop. perspective, this is what happens. So I'm following Ryan, and he's like, <laughs> like sweat upon his brow. I've I've never seen Ryan have to shit this bad. I'm a little hanky and everything. And, I, and I'm like, this is serious. And uh, we get back to the apartment, we get in the lobby, and Ryan's like, I can't even run up to the apartment. I just have to go in the lobby, not in the lobby, in the lobby bathroom. Yeah. Um, you went in the lobby that one time. They did the apartment did not like that. Mm. Uh, but he's running the bathroom, and I was like, I was like, hey man, keep me updated. Uh, send it to me. And he runs in the bathroom, and uh, I think about twenty minutes go by. Yeah, a good long time. I don't hear. I don't like. I'm like, what's taking Ryan so long in the bathroom? And uh, he comes out with this look on, like, like you just seen a ghost, like just shocked. And I was like, what's up? And you're like, check your check your phone. And I'll, I'll pass it over to Ryan now. <laughs> okay, let's step back 20 minutes later, or earlier, okay? 20 minutes earlier. I'm walking into the restroom. I feel that this is the type of explosive shit where everything kind of comes out all at once in one little... Yeah. Like one of those. Like a, like a t-shirt gun. It's like uncorking some, some, a, nice, yeah. some nice alcohol. Like you shake up a champagne bottle and <laughs> pop the cork off. Exactly. So I, I, I was feeling that. I was feeling that pop sensation. I was like, this is going to be a perfect snap. This is going to be a... This is going to make Matt so just happy. So what I do is I I lift up the toilet seat and I kind of squat over the Wait, why'd you lift up the toilet seat if you were shitting? No, I mean, I'm I'm squatting over... Oh, the bigger toilet seat, not the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So I I squat over the bowl because I got to have it go right into the bowl. Because I'm not gonna put my phone underneath myself when it when it's oh yeah like no that. and then that's 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 too vulgar we, yeah I, we we don't want to see all that we just want to see the the impact with the water yeah so so I'm I'm film so like I'm filming like I know I'm filming and then I go poof and I'm like oh dude that's a good one and then I look at the camera to see if it's recording then I'm like the bowl's empty there's no there's no <laughs> shit in the bowl <laughs> and then, I don't remember and then I'm then then I'm like oh, oh shit wait, I forgot wait. to record it. And I got confused, and then I turned around. <laughs> no, because I remember I opened the Snapchat, and I just see the toilet bowl. I see, I just see water, and I, I, I hear this <laughs> massive release, and, but nothing happens in the toilet bowl. And then, like, the video abruptly stops. <laughs> And then I look back. I had blown that whole load on the back of the toilet, like on the, on the like on the handle on the wall. And like, oh my god, the horror that struck me because this was just gonna be a fun little goop that I was sending to my friend. And now I'm in a world of shit, quite literally. literally. 
We took the bullet train. The Shinkansen. We took the Shinkansen. Hey, this is super fast. I was surprised. I said, damn, they really build these things to go fast. Ah. It's it's so nice. It was nice. It's, it's so the way smooth. On, like, I was, like, think about it. If you want to go to Hokka- Hokkaido, it's so far away. But I'll just go at night, sleep. The, oh, the one that goes to Hokkaido goes under the ocean. But honestly, it was incredible Ooh. to go to the lakes. It was so beautiful, like, seeing the countryside. And, like, the first time I saw the water, because, like, you know, we're even in Tokyo, which is the part that we've been in landlocked. Like, we haven't seen the Tokyo's ocean. Not, Tokyo is big. That's what, the, the, oh, the, I could just say. But no, like, to, the first time I saw the ocean outside Japan, it, like, hit me. I was like, like, how isolated the country is. And I was like... Just a cool feeling. Yeah, it's super cool. It's um, beautiful. We got to come back when it's warmer so we can go to the beach and like, go swimming. Kyoto was really cool to see. We saw so many. Kyoto was cold. Same temples. How have, we, have we not mentioned like one of the best things in Kyoto? Oh yeah. That's right. We met up with Ryan's family. <laughs> <laughs> I think I came. (laughs) Holy shit. That's rich. That was good. Abe's gonna be so pissed. (laughs) Dude, I'm gonna fuck Phil without his permission. (laughs) Abe's gonna be so pissed. (laughs) I'm gonna tie Phil to a meat grinder. (laughs) (laughs) Bam! Bam! Is this thing real? <laughs> Dude, we put a fucking alligator in in April's pussy. <laughs> Is this thing real? Ah, bam! Ah, <laughs> uh, Abe's gonna be Dude, so fucking pure. We, we circumcised Phil with baby paper scissors. <laughs> so pissed. So the ones pure. like with with like the design in them. Yeah, yeah with the, 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 the... Oh god, they they cut in shapes. And yeah, shit. dude, imagine yeah. getting circumcised with that shit. So you're, you just have like a little foreskin left, but it's like in a nice frilly design. I mean, it'd be better, right? Right? Yeah. Like, yeah Thanks, I mean, mom and dad, for. I had someone recently, like, legitimately ask me, like, like fully seriously, like, so, how do you feel about your parents' decision to have you circumcised? And I was like, I mean, can't. Really a lot be- of kids get pissed at their parents. Like, I, I can't. That was my out. choice. I, that was me. <laughs> You fucking took it away! Fuck, man! <laughs> you can fucking ass! It's gone! <laughs> it's a piece of me out of your fucking head back! <laughs> you fucking. <laughs> I mean, I can't do anything about it, so. Yeah. I got my wisdom teeth yanked out of my head this week. It was fantastic. Yeah. All four of them. They, they reached in my mouth with little pliers and went. I bet them you, all you out. had a better post experience than I did. I did actually. It was crazy because, like, later that day, I was I was going around LA getting coffee and and just like I was fine. It didn't. I had some pain the first day. I was a little loopy. Uh, but then they gave me that Tylenol three with the codeine in it, and I I took it and I fell asleep. And then when I woke up, I felt fine. And uh, that was two days ago. And now my my teeth don't like my mouth is fine. It doesn't hurt. I'm surprised. I thought it was gonna be much worse healing process where everything was in pain and. It, it's totally fine. I'd do it again if I could. If I could get all my other teeth taken out, totally would do it. What were you saying about your wisdom tooth experience? Uh, I just said yours is better than mine. What was yours? Uh, I went to go because you know how they put gauze where yeah that to, shit like, kind of hurt to, to bite down up on the blood and stuff. Bled for a long. Bled for like a day and a half. Yeah. Well, I went to go take a nap and I leaned my head back. Oh no! Then the bloody gauze went to the back of my throat. Ugh. As well as my, because this is like not that long after it happened, as well as blood starting to pull out Ooh. from the wounds. So I, I just started choking, and this was on one of my ex's uh, couches. So I started like <laughs> spitting up blood, and she's like looking at me like, <gasps> like it looks like I'm dying. Like I'm <laughs> spitting up a lot you of blood. You wake up, like, <laughs> <laughs> I know. She's like blood and spit coming <laughs> yeah. out of your mouth. I go to the, I'm gonna, and I run to her toilet, and I just like, <gasps> And there's a shit ton of blood just spills out into the toilet and she's like freaking out. And so she calls my mom and then uh, my mom picks me up and goes, he does this all the time. He goes, tisk, tisk, tisk again with this. Just just call me to come pick you up. You don't have to make a scene every time you don't like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> like that one. That was really fucking funny, man. I, I just like 
dating a girl and you don't want to date her, so instead she's like, I don't like you. You're just like, like <laughs> spit up blood. You have to bite the inside of your cheek so hard that you just fill your mouth with blood just so you can spit it up all over her couch and ruin her parents' couch. I have to bite the inside of my cheek so hard that I can stick my tongue through it. <laughs> Sorry, I just can't date you after that. Yeah, it was too traumatic. You, you lost a pretty good one with Justin that we don't have to talk about. No, we'll talk about it because I'm probably just not going to do it. Yeah. Ryan, uh, that was out of a, what? That was out of a hundred. That was out of a hundred. Yeah. First time Justin ever played What Are the Odds. That's true. Uh, him and Ryan said the same number. And it was Ryan had to get a tattoo of the, the sound wave. Of, of my name, Jeff. My name, Jeff. And, uh, you're backing out of that? I think I am. I th here's the thing, unfortunately, with What Are the Odds. When, whenever it's like a hundred, Matt and I and Jackson and Harrison and everyone I've ever played with have always backed out of something. I'm going to use my backing out of something for this one, probably. Because sometimes it's fun just to see. Now, Ju and Justin doesn't even listen to the podcast, so he's just going to be like... Some fan you are, Justin. Some fucking fan, man. All I know is Justin was really harping on me early for not wanting to do it. He's like, come on, it was out of a hundred. You got to respect it. I'm like, I was too, but it's just because I really wanted that. Of course. You know, you want to see it. But I don't want to have that on my body forever, not even as a joke. I don't like memes no, but, affecting my everyday like, life. It's not affecting your everyday it life. Affect my how is that? How is anybody going to know it's the waveform for my name, Jeff? It affects my personal life because I have to look at that and be like, ew. What, is that going to bring your quality of life down? Yeah. You're going to be more unhappy in I'm going to be cursed the moment that ink touches my skin. You know how easy it is? Like, you're going to be like, oh, this is this is the heartbeat of my child from the when it was in the womb. But here's the thing. When you back out of... An odds are the the thing that me and my friends used to do was the other person got to slap the other as hard as they wanted to. We need to start coming up with some form there of has punishment. To be, there has to be some form of punishment. So Otherwise, Justin, there will be some form form of punishment. Uh, for me, you can make me whatever food you want. You have to go eat a whole meal at Arby's. Oh no! You got to eat a whole <laughs> fucking no. You have to go get the meat mountain at Arby's and eat the whole <laughs> thing by yourself if you back out of something. Matt, what? <laughs> Odds are. Oh no! It gave me a little a little giggle before you said that one. <laughs> Odds are, you have. I, I'll pay for it, but great. You're gonna get the meat mountain at Arby's, and <laughs> and you have to go sit in a parking lot on a hot day with your air conditioning off, and you can't turn on your car air conditioning on until you finish it. Can I? Can I do? Can I at least do like a food review while I do it? <laughs> yeah. Or I'll go review the meat mountain in a burning hot. <laughs> How about I drive to an Arby's in like Arizona, in in July? So okay. it's okay. Okay, but it just has to be hot as fuck. Yeah, Arizona. What if you have a fucking heat stroke in your car and die? And die with a big meat mountain <laughs> spilling on me? <laughs> the cop find the cop. <laughs> be called to that. Be called to that cop. It's just some dead dude in a car with an Arby's meat mountain. <laughs> like all over his lap. <laughs> <laughs> like, the camera's still recording him. It's like, sir, sir. What like, the fuck? It just opens up. The <laughs> he's got a camera. He's like, what the hell happened? It would just look like it's wild, man. Do you know what a meat mountain is? It's a mountain of It's meat. literally a mountain of meat they just give you at Arby's. <laughs> Look it up. It's fucking... Like, the, Arby's is yeah, like, why do people think we're so gross? It's like, look, what, look at them. It's called a meat mountain. Yeah, that's our... You don't have to do the Arizona in July shit. But ten. it's gonna be a hot day, and hot days are coming ten, soon. Ten, yeah. One, two, three, four. seven. You did I four said four. Again. I said four. Yeah, I, I don't have to do it. Matt, if I have, if I had said four, people would have been like, "Why, Matt? Why do you go for four? When we were counting down, I was, I was frantically trying to think of a number. You know, I know what I thought was, you know what? I don't think he's gonna choose four because he knows I'm not going to. So I did it because we just talked about. It. So I'm like, I'm gonna do four. Yeah. People will look at your life. You know, your parents, for example, uh -huh. they see you playing video games as a kid, and they're saying that's a waste of time. What's really a waste of time? Doing something you enjoy that's bringing you happiness, or doing something with someone else. Others' happiness. Right, right. If you're if 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 uh, you're on like my free cams, like I am. Yeah. <laughs> Ron, you got to start a my free cams page. <laughs> I just you getting tokens and just flicking the bean. I don't even have to do that. There's some there. I bet you there's some. No, there definitely are girls who like are more lewd than nude. On oh, my of course, free cams that of course. Just sit there and talk. 
I can just sit there and talk. I think recently. Hey guys. Recently, uh, <laughs> did I've, I've, you imagine just hey, hey guys, I'm just be waving Dead Rising three on my free game <laughs> instead of Twitch. Yeah, we should just, uh, you know, if, like, YouTube sinks, which it, it will one day, just switch over to My Free Cams. Just upload all of our Let's Plays to, like, Break.com or, like... OnlyFans. <laughs> hey, guys, go check out our OnlyFans page uh, for our newest Let's Plays. We could we could do that and just check review porn. Check Jared profile. <laughs> <laughs> you do you ever, have you ever tried, like, ant piss? No, what? Yeah. Uh, ant piss. Yeah, I don't know if it's ant piss or like some sort of ant have acid you? thing. Yeah. I promise it's... What do you mean? Wait, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Does it come yeah. in like a bottle? Y'all sip no, it? No, 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 no. Or do you like, do you get wait, the ants and you squeeze the, the piss Indian? out of them? What, what is this? It's easy money, okay? Check this out. You okay. grab like a little like plant, right? Yeah. Like let's say a leaf that's kind of like, not too bendy and long, right? Okay. You lick it and you shove it in the ant hill and you keep it in there for like... I don't know, 15 seconds. You pull it out, you shake the ants off of it, and then you lick it. <laughs> and it's fucking. What? It's like a sour treat. Like, it's Brad, good. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? Are you like a hunter gatherer? Like, <laughs> like, like, like this, this was your treat as a it's kid? It's a good like, shot like, of vitamin C. I'm what are you just talking saying? about? I, I picture young Rav with a loincloth going out in the like woods. In the jungle, like, like, mm, ant piss. <laughs> Rav's mama pulls up and she's just like, hey, what are you again. doing? What are you doing out there? He's like, I'm sipping ant piss, ma. <laughs> hey, yo, ma, I'm sipping that ant piss. <laughs> hey, yo, ma, let me live, ma. Show me love. <laughs> Show me love, ma. Show me love. Love. You selling repos? <laughs> <laughs> what's what's he doing out there, honey? Oh, he's doing the, the whole ant piss thing. Just let him believe it. Just I kind of want to try it now. I'm down. I yo, I, yo <laughs> we do, yeah, it. What? do it. Let's no, find some ants. Also, also, wait a second. If you stick a wet leaf in an ant hill, it's gonna come out caked in dirt. So you're licking all that. What are you dirt talking too? about? Okay, it's not like a leaf leaf. It's like a you know like, like a, a like a blade of grass like a, or something. Yes, or? there you go. You know something that's kind of like leafy. Licking a stick is gross, dude. <laughs> dude, sticking, <laughs> sticking something in an ant hill and then sucking. Whatever liquid from the, the I'm ants not put on now. Gross. I'm not a some sort of scientist. I don't know if it's actually piss or it's just they shoot it up with the acid because they're like, hey, they, he's attacking our home. Hey, yeah, Donny. Hey, Donny. Hey, hey, what hey, the Donnie. fuck is this guy? What, what hey, was his name? Rub Rav. What the fuck is? <laughs> hey, fuck Donny. What the hell is this? Coming in, stealing our piss. Hey, fuck you, you ball bag. I'm a piss on it. <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking Italian anthill. Hey, Donny. Uh, hey, you motherfucker. <laughs> I'm walking here. And then I sh I shake him off. Uh -huh. And they go, and they go, slurp, right? Yeah. And it's like, damn, that's sour. What does it taste like? Sour. It tastes Just like sour? a warhead. Like I've eaten an dude, ant before. Dude, you probably before, shouldn't like be sour. eating it then. It's chill. That means it's acidic. It's chill. Yes, it's acidic. Not everything yeah, acidic is bad. I'm about to go sip a whole so, fucking vat of ant piss wait, after this. Okay, well, uh, you could actually do it uh, right now. Because, that might be too much. Because uh, um, <laughs> Matt and I have to... Uh, Read some ads. Okay, oh. cool. Do it. Oh. All right, today's ad is for ant piss. Uh, Sick. Ra 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 Uncle Rab's ant piss. Yo, I fucking love softball. It's ready, dread. Love throwing that softball. I beat your head. Can I get one of those clean bitches? The <clears throat> beach. That's Ooh. it. That's the Freddy Dread. Is that what you're known right for? There. Yeah, it's uh either like it's it's either Doom Shop motherfucker or beach. I like you have a very clean bitch. It's very clean. You Your bitch is really clean. You listen to the music. I have worked on it. Your bitch is incredibly clean. How long did it take you to clean your bitch? It took me about like probably a year to clean my bitch. You you trained that bitch well. You did. Off you did. And then it was bitch. And then and then it was bitch. Well, I'm I'm just super happy that you're able to just clean your bitch so have well. Such and a really... clean bitch. Thank you. My shit's trash. <laughs> no, Freddie, your shit's good. He's he's been he's been he's been mixing mixing records and. In my house, been it's been interesting to watch, but uh, I but haven't done that. No, that's not me. I I hit I hit him up on Instagram, and then he was like, "I love Super Mega, ha! Yes, 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 Daddy Super likes Omega Matt watch it from favorite. Super Mega. Matt and Ryan, I love Super Mega. So I love much. Super Mega. I actually so uh, funny. You actually you actually sent me an audio clip, uh, through the DMs, Freddie, and you were like, "Hey, I love you. Uh, I just want to be on your podcast if you can make that happen." That's not what uh, I said. I said it. I don't want to say what you said because there's a few epithets that would tank my career. But oh, yes, dude, that's dude, the general he's been idea. Staying with me, I believe I've heard it. Yeah, he uh, <laughs> just say the whole thing. He, he, he did that funny thing where he wrote like you, you know how there's all things like oh, I asked her to prom by writing prom on my penis and I yeah. showed it to her. He he wrote podcast on his. penis. By the way, if you do that, that is sexual assault. Yes, do not do that. That is legitimately like like that's exposing yourself to somebody. Don't do Excuse that. Excuse what? Freddie, did you do that? 
I did that once. You wrote prom on your penis? That's that I didn't. Were no, you he, in high he school? He wrote, wrote penis on his penis. You were in high school when you did this, correct? Uh, no, I was in elementary school. It was to the <laughs> graduation. He went up on stage. I said, "Will you graduate with me on my ass?" And then I, I wrote balls on my dick, and then because <laughs> you don't have any balls, it would, and so you so wanted tough. people to know that <laughs> I, I this is where the balls would be. <laughs> I, I only have a dick, but he didn't know where the balls <laughs> went, so he, he wrote balls on top because he thought that's where the balls. Yeah, one would day go. they just disappeared. I, I don't know where they are. I, I still just, to this day, it's like I, every now and then I'll like check a few pockets after the wash. Still can't find them. Still no balls anywhere. To be honest, I wished them away, and they just fucking they left. They they're gone you, in the morning. It's one of those like like you, you have a dream and you wake up and you're like oh. I mean, you look and your balls are gone. You had like a dream about you lived in a world with no balls and you wake up and it's true. How Have beautiful it would be. <laughs> a beautiful world. I hate those balls. Without balls fueling all the violence in the world. Dude, if there were no balls, you know how much world peace there'd be? <laughs> balls fuel, like think about this, guys. Think, think about how much shit in the world is fueled by sex and by, and by, by lust. That's because of balls. That's, that's a little dangling sack. Little, little sh- shriveled up scrotum with with two little two little round little chestnuts in there. That's the cause of most of the world's problems is balls. Yeah. Like if you want to break it down to specifics, it's balls. It's, I mean, I'm not arguing. It sounds like you're arguing. I did not. You see my balls? No. I, you're still pulling them out. Pulling I said no, out. so this is harassment. No, no, it's not, Ryan. I'm saying You've no. You've seen my balls so many times. Does that give you the right to just whip Nobody them out Nobody has seen my want? balls more than you. That is true, but does that Nobody give you the right? Nobody has seen my balls Does that more give than you the Ryan. right to whip out your balls when I say no? Are you really saying no? Can I not do it? You're yeah, actually, I see the smile. I you're see actually the... waiting. You know, I think like I'm. I'm. You see how happy I how am. How about I pull them through you're my zipper? Happy. I'm happy that you smile. respect me that much. But how about yeah, I? Yeah, pull... sure. Pull your balls out through my zipper, not through the I top of my see pants. See? Oh pull wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Freddie said he didn't want to see your balls. Freddie, don't look. <laughs> hey, Freddie, are you okay? Don't look, Freddie. <laughs> what do you think about those balls? I think Freddie. Don't look again, Freddie. Stop, Freddie. I I those balls are still out. No. For people wondering. He blew some jewel smoke on my balls. Thank you, Fred. Did you feel the gust? I did. It was very nice. It's very <laughs> fucking hot in the recording room. And I do have to say, you blowing that cool jewel smoke on my balls was incredibly... You can put them away now. I can keep them out for the rest of the podcast. Is that a power move? A bit. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, a bit of, it's, it's a bit of an ego thing for me. Okay. It's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a kind of a power move. How long do you guys shake after you do a piss to get all the piss out? I'll do a couple shakes. I just like, I'm just like, da-da-da-da, and then I'm done. I, I, remember, <laughs> I remember seeing a movie when I was really young where... The guy told the, yeah. the kid who was shaking or More something. More than three years playing with your Yeah, shirt. and I remember that stuck with me. I was like, same. That is, I can't get all the piss out of my dick in three shakes. Am I abnormal? No, I'm the same way. I'm uncircumcised, and okay. I think that is part of the problem because piss gets stuck in your foreskin. Oh, okay. it's fucking gross. Really? Yeah. I mean, probably. Mm. I mean, I'm Wait, just how guessing. does piss get stuck in your foreskin? Well, because your dick does closes it, it back hang up. Over the, well, I after, just closes after, up. After, after, well, See, what do you like, think? Wait, you suck. It's like magnetic? Like, like, you're, like, like, you're, like it's magnetic at the tip and like you're, closes up? When you up. have a foreskin, it doesn't, you don't, the head doesn't stay out like normally. The skin hangs over it normally. Yeah. Like an anteater thing. Yeah. Like Chad's penis. Yeah. So what I'm saying is Even three shakes, it doesn't. Well, because like what I do is like I'll I'll piss and then I'll let my dick like drip a little bit and uh-huh. then I'll shake after the Actually, drip stops. Um, Fitz told us because I think I might have mentioned something like this on that on his episode. Chad, why are you on your phone constantly? Um, because no, really I'm bored not. I'm taking anything. care of something that I can't ignore. He'd, he'd rather be well, on cold some ones. whore. It's definitely a fucking whore. It's a whore problem. Like, we it's literally women. a whore problem. Matt, no, on this podcast we respect lovely, women. Probably. Lovely women. Honestly, we respect women on this Sorry, podcast Sorry, there are whores that exist, though, right? Uh, Some for, women as are As a whores. job title, but not as a personality description. That is not a job title. What the fuck is it is? Wait, is a whore it is a sex job work? Title. Sex work a is whore. absolutely a legitimate job. No, sex work, not being a whore. No, no they're called de- escorts, bro. The word whore derived from, like, escort is just a simple, is like the good, classy nice, classy word. way of saying it. Back in the day, it's like, I'm going to go get me a whore. I can is, that where, is that where it comes from? Probably. Is there what? Is that where it comes from, whore? Yeah, whore. Like it was one of the working terms. Like the whole, like you go to a brothel and get you a whore. Oh, I thought you were just calling like a prostitute. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like I'm back in medieval times, they didn't say prostitute or es- escort. I they think said whore. They I mean, said I mean, woman. 
I'm no. going to buy me I'm a woman give me a they whore. have no rights. No whore, oh, whore is like back oh. in the days we're talking you guys about. Are not fun. now. I'm going to go. Jack, me not Jack's acting all women. high and mighty. Like, oh, you guys don't respect women. I do, oh, bro. You know, all the did, time. The other day, Chad's like, I think I'm a sexist. <laughs> How about I? You met my Tinder date the other night when I she came around with a few drinks. She was, she was nice. Was nice she was very yeah, sweet. They they're, they're, as well. I mean, they're nice, but there's always something in their eyes where I'm just like, Are you okay? You're not, this isn't against your will or anything, is it? <laughs> you can see, like, when Chad leaves the room, you just want to ask, like, you're all right, right? This is of your own free what will? What the fuck <laughs> are you talking about? <laughs> no, you, respect, you respect him, Chad, I know. I'm, I'm, uh, dude, fame has changed me. I know, man. It's gone I'm to your sorry. head and... Uh, I see you floating up in the clouds. I, I need to pull you back down. I need, to, I need to grab your ankles and jerk you back down, man. By the way, before we went to the movie, that fucking Thai place we went to was amazing. That's probably the the best Thai meal I've had in um, in L.A. Oh, it was so good. It's on a Sunset <clears throat> Boulevard. It's called Toy on Sunset. Toy on Sunset. It's really good. Go to, if you're in L.A., check it out. Tasty restaurant. God, I still have a craving for fucking oysters, my man. And I'm not talking about your mommy's oyster. I'm talking about the sea fish. <laughs> the sea fish? The sea creature. Sea fish? <laughs> I can wow! eat some sea fish tonight. <laughs> sea fish. And he, show, even he shows his beautiful pussy. <laughs> I just imagine a southern man with a very beautiful pussy. And that, that's the joke. I feel like, can, can, a southern, can you have a beautiful pussy and be a southern man? Absolutely. I feel like part of the, the pussy's allure is who is attached to. I mean, I guess you can have a good-looking penis on a on a on a yeah, good-looking penis yeah. I, on I've a seen, beautiful woman. Oh, I mean, we we've seen a lot of them. There, honestly, like I'll I'll look at a, a dick on someone who's trans, and I'll just be like, oh wow, that's a, that's, that's that's a lot nicer than my penis. I know. I'm like, I am jealous of how nice that penis. Well, is. if you got to go to a goddamn build a bear workshop to choose your dick, <laughs> all right, Dad, you can leave the room. <laughs> okay, see, ya. I love you. See, see you, Dad. You still have your penis though. <sighs> For now, yeah. Okay. You ain't drinking cider, are you? I am drinking a cider right now. That's a pussy beer. Why don't you pour that down your goddamn hymen, you piece of shit? <laughs> yeah, well, you that... see, Dad, you don't pour anything into a hymen. You pour it onto, you pour it into the vagina. You pour it into the vagina, the vaginal opening. The, the hymen no, he just left. is at the... He, he's he's gone. gone, yeah. Okay. Jackson! Jackson. Come here, here real quick. <laughs> you fuck. I might be wrong on this, actually. I, but that's what I always thought. Hold on. What does the term deflower mean? Like, to deflower? To take someone's virginity. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. I always thought it was just to take someone's clothes off. No, do you, no. You're, like, you deflower they, Think them. about it. Like, a flower represents innocence, right? You're or a deep, vagina. Exactly, yeah, so and you're deflowering. Like, you're taking the petals off of that beautiful yeah. vagina and she making it me. some gross, stuffed well, cunt. It's <laughs> called deflowering. <laughs> you're taking their flower, which is represented by the vagina, because once you take it, no other man will want to be with her. Oh yeah, which is true. Which is true. Hey, if I, also I, I, if, if if a woman cheats on their husband, th well, if, if that happens, then no. the second hymen breaks, <laughs> <laughs> and the husband can tell because there's a there's a particular scent yeah. that that <laughs> will <laughs> smells like adultery. Well, he, smells like the he, second notice, hymen's been busted. He'll notice because his wife will be much looser, which the only way that happens <laughs> is by women sleeping with multiple men, as we all know. Yeah. <laughs> I took a, in eighth grade, they made me take a sex ed class, and they, the teacher didn't say this stuff, but some kid beside me told me about it. Is that, that's why, like... It's, it's like the AP level, I think. That's why when, uh, you know, you, at least when I was a teenager in youth group, if you farted and it was an airy fart, people were like, are you getting fucked in the ass, boy? That's yeah. a, that's a, that's a... They said that in youth group? That. Like the youth leaders <laughs> asked you that? No, no, not right. the pastors. Are you getting fucked in the <laughs> ass, boy? But like the, the like kind of like the seniors, where like we were younger, we'd be like, <laughs> they'd be like, like the senior citizens. That sounded a little loose. It's like what? You need those tight farts. That's how you know nothing's been in your ass. Yeah. What have you been sticking up your ass? So they, so basically, they were just trying to to make sure you had the tightest asshole possible. Hold on, come here. How many fingers can I can I stick in? Three. <laughs> oh, that's gay, Ryan. <laughs> I should barely be able to fit a pinky in there. But look at it. I can kind of squeeze in a... Oh, four! Ryan, oh, my goodness. Good you're, lord. You're too loose for this to not be the Catholic Church. Oh. <laughs> now, hold on. Can something cylindrical fit in there? 
Oh, I could I could fit my entire penis. <laughs> Ryan, this is so gay of you. I, I've just learned about a website, Ryan. Yeah. That basically can write fan fiction for you based using a neural network processor. So I can type something and the neural network will guess what comes next. So I'm gonna write a little story about you. Okay. Ryan McGee from Super Mega was sitting on the couch with his friend, Matt Watson. I just got to give it a little prompt. Okay. Suddenly, Ryan became erect. Ooh. Complete text. All right, let's see if this works. <laughs> At first, he thought maybe he was getting aroused, but then it <laughs> dawned on him he was hard and started jerking off. <laughs> As Matt watched, his friend looked over at Ryan and saw the huge bulge in his pants. Ryan said he couldn't believe that he had such a large erection, <laughs> and Matt looked at him wondering where Ryan was going with this. Matt said that Ryan's hands started to move faster and faster until Ryan was going at least double hard. Then Matt said that Ryan's erection almost came free, and Ryan didn't want to stop. <laughs> Matt said that Ryan's penis kept twitching uncontrollably as he was jerking off, but that Matt thought he looked just like a porn star, so he didn't stop. So wait, is that an AI, AI just wrote that? Okay, can I give you holy a shit? I, can I do a prompt now? That's incredible. Yeah. Okay, I want to do a prompt. What this the is hell? Fun. This is fun. That was incredible. Okay. Okay. Ready? You're gonna type this in. Okay. Yeah. Matthew Watson. Okay, Matthew. How did he do that, Matthew Watson? Of super mega fame. Of super mega fame. Was hanging out with his. Beautiful mother was hanging out with his beautiful mother. He looked down and blushed. He looked down and blushed. That's it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Let's see what it writes. Matthew Watson of super mega fame was hanging out with his beautiful mother. He looked down and blushed. <laughs> the girl beside him said, don't look down. And turned her back to the camera. It is clear this was no innocent flirtation. She is doing something inappropriate with the boy. I was so upset and disgusted that I couldn't take the camera to my room. I called my dad to see what to do. I was furious. I called my dad and he said to me, If you don't have anything against this girl, just leave the room. And I did. My dad said something to me in the car as we were driving home. He told me I could have done something wrong, but that I shouldn't have been so angry. He said it would be much easier to forgive her if I had... That, that's it. That's it. And it's <laughs> dude, this is incredible. Holy shit. Let's each do one more. This is fun. Okay, okay. So put one more in. This is, we got two more funny, funny little stories coming up. Ryan McGee <clears throat> arrived home. <laughs> he opened the front door and was met with a shock. His dog, Lego. <laughs> had left him a steaming pile of feces on the kitchen floor. Ryan was furious. Let's see where this, let's see where it takes this one. You gave it a lot to work with. I know, I know. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> no, no, you got to read it as, okay. as you're experiencing it. Ryan McGee arrived home. He opened the front door and was met with a shock. His dog, Lego, had left him a steaming pile of feces on the kitchen floor. Ryan was furious. He decided to post a picture of the mess on Instagram. <laughs> See below. I am not a great dog, Mom, I admit. The dog was outside in the yard for hours. He had to be on a lead. He was never in any way supervised. His house was littered with trash and debris. In the picture, he looks so happy and safe with his family. I'm now thinking that I should do something to help with the dog's care. I don't have the time... Resources or energy to care this for this all dog. An Instagram this post? dog was my only fan. Was my only family he had. I know I am a bad mommy, and I know I don't deserve <laughs> to be a bad mommy. I have given this dog enough. It is up to me to do. <laughs> so I give Lego up because he pooped, and I'm a bad dog mommy. <laughs> You're a bad mommy, dude. Okay. How did that first fan fiction was incredible? Though. I know. Here, I, okay, I got one. I you you want to write one out? Yeah, let me let me, let me delete out. it real quick. And remember, the new <laughs> iOS has swipe texting. For those who don't know, you can swipe text. It's amazing. Even though Android did have it in like 2000. Matt Watson arrived home. I'll kind of use the same start. Arrived home. 
to find Jackson and Harrison. Ooh, more characters. Having sex in the shower. Ooh. Matt ran to his room so he <clears throat> could hear just what was happening. Perfect. All right. Okay. Let's generate it. It's generating. Oh, this one's short. Oh, no, I keep scrolling. Okay. It'll load more. Matt Watson arrived home to find Jackson and Harrison having sex in the shower. Matt ran to his room so he could hear just what was happening. Harrison then stripped naked and began performing oral sex on Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson then told Matt to get a knife from the kitchen and cut his throat. <laughs> Jeez, what? Christ. Wait, really? Yeah, Jackson then stabbed him with the knife and said that he was going to kill him with it if he did not let Harrison do it with her. <laughs> Jackson then took her panties and put them on before heading out the back door to the front. <laughs> Matt and Harrison followed them out and found them lying on the road. Jackson told Matt that she wanted to kill him and Harrison with the knife. <laughs> Matt pleaded with Jackson not to do it, but she still did. Matt tried to get Jackson to stop, but she refused <laughs> and said she wanted to kill them both. Matt then, Matt then grabbed Harrison and forced her to the side of the road while Jackson fled the area. Yeah. Damn, that's like a fever dream. I know. I like how that started with like Harrison starts getting his brother to suck him <laughs> off. And then all of a sudden this like murder thing comes and out. Jackson of nowhere. goes Jackson by her. Wants me to cut my throat. Jackson goes by her. Right? I, I guess so. It, dude, that made no fucking. <laughs> that was incredible. That was fucking glorious. I think that first one was the one that made the most sense, though. Yeah, that one was just like from start to finish. Uh, Like just absolutely flawless. Oh, God, there's so many good. I'm just going to give it one sentence. Ryan McGee has become erect. <laughs> he has no problem with that, and neither does anyone else. His girlfriend has no problems with it either. But no one else seems to either. They've been dating for almost a year now. She's a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is that he is so incredibly hard to please that he often gets into arguments with her that end up getting him suspended from his job. And he's been kicked off a few more times because of them. I would recommend that you give this man the benefit of the doubt until the end. He's a good guy with good intentions. Did you write this, Ryan? No. He might also want to keep an eye out for his friend, <clears throat> but it's not really his fault. Wait, is that about me? You might also want to keep an eye out for his friend, but it's not really his fault. The most bizarre part of this situation is that the guy who was going to be taking care of him was on his way to work the next day. The police department was on full lockdown. <laughs> Damn. Uh, let me give one, one, one more. One. one more. I'm... Just to match it with you, because you did a simple sentence. Give me a simple sentence, bro. Okay. Matt's. No, should I just say Ann Watson? Why you got to bring my mother into this? Pussy Ryan? stinks. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ann Watson's pussy stinks. In her first appearance in the series, Penny meets the... Penny meets the girl who will be her love interest and the only person who will have a relationship with her and the gang as a whole. Her character is a lot more developed. What the fuck is what? this? Her, her character is a lot more developed and we got to know her a lot more. What is it writing? Penny is not a slut and neither is she an easy target. She will not be able to just go in for the kiss and then immediately turn her back on it when she finds out she doesn't like it. We saw Penny's character grow over time. We what saw her get hell? into trouble. We saw her have... We saw her have to work through some of her personal issues that had been lingering on her for years. She will not be able to be a victim forever. The only way to survive is to fight. Penny is an equal. She will not allow herself to be dominated by anyone ever. And she'll do everything she can to keep herself out of danger and keep. Dude, that 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 was like a Netflix series <laughs> I, synopsis. I, I, I love the first. I, I love how everything else is about Penny, but the first sentence in this story is <laughs> Ann Watson's pussy stink. Now you don't know that. You don't know that. Ah, what an amazing year! And we have more content to come. But we just like to thank you for helping us and support us creating this content. And I really just want to say thank you guys so much. This has been the best year of Super Mega by far, and we can't wait for 2020 and beyond. Uh, so, 
Like a lot with, of good stuff coming. Yep, and we will see you guys next year in 2020. See you, yep. everybody. See you guys next year in 2020. Thank you for tuning in, and thank you so much for the support.